Down there, it feels crazy, a lot of people. I whipped out my phone as well, I was almost burned at the stake for being a witch. I think behind the times. And uh, I stepped on the couch and then I woke up the next morning and his roommate comes out to me and she says, Chief, I had the strangest dream last night. And I said, right, stop there. When are dreams not strange? Think about it. If so, uh, literally, being surprised that you had a strange dream is like being surprised you didn't win the lottery or something. Like, Oh my god, guess what happened when I did the lottery today? What? Did you win? Nope. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah, then, although somebody told me, Jesus, John, I had the most normal dream last night. I woke up and I went to work and pretty much nothing out of the ordinary happened. I'd be like, get help now. Shut the path. Stay away from me. It's just checking out. That's right. You're on course, we're on course, it's okay. Uh, you may have heard uh, some people think I look like uh, Seamus Finnegan from Harry Potter. <laughs> How dare you? Have you seen him? Come on! Yeah, um, and, like, uh, me, it reminds me, actually, me and Brian were watching an interview with him, and he was talking about uh, the Harry Potter game, and he had clearly never played it a single time. He was like, yeah, basically, like, like the PlayStation game, obviously, like, you got that already, like, and then, like, you put the disc in the PlayStation, which is a challenge in itself, like, I had me stuck for days, like, but I got it in the like, and then, like, eating all forwards, reaching out backwards as well. Like, <laughs> left and right sometimes as well as best. But basically, right, I think it's like, uh, you throw these angry boards at the members. I think that's it. <laughs> Cheers. Paycheck in the back pocket there. But, um, yeah, and did you hear about, actually, no, it was Harry Potter. It was, I was thinking about, you know, the Patronus charms, okay? They're unique to everybody. I'm not sure how many wizards there are, but eventually, uh, like they must have run out of animals. But people like they do and have like a sloth come out or something like that. A slug. Like bacteria. I swear it's here somewhere. They should just like use items that are important to people. Like it could be absolutely anything. At this stage for me, probably like a six pack of cords light, I'd say at this stage. Yeah, a book. A Terry's chocolate orange. <laughs> Such a nerdy yo mama joke, people like, your mama's so fat, her patronus is a foot long subway sandwich. <laughs> oh, burn. <laughs> so, um, have you heard about uh, these Project X parties that happen around the country now? Yeah. There was one in Swords last week in my estate. Yeah, I was there in the middle of the year. Oh, um, I know that something was out of the ordinary when I walked over the shops and I noticed there was like five burning cars. And I was like, that's two more than usual. <laughs> <laughs> and in the, the next week, uh, even my mom was talking about it at work, it was the talk of the town, but you have to separate fact against fiction. My god, there was some amount of nonsense that came out. Where do I start? Facts, okay. They stole his front door. They stole his banisters. They broke his windows. Um, first of all, how do you steal a front door and banisters? Where did they go? What did the guards do? I'm sure there were some guards around who were like, what is up to lads? Just uh, playing the front door for a walk, you know? <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Hang on, lads. You almost forgot your banisters. <laughs> Cheers, here. Bring on the bus. It's gonna be extra for the banisters, lads. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, what else? Then I heard uh, they threw a lawnmower upstairs, which implies that they took the lawnmower out of the shed, brought it in the house, brought it upstairs, just to go, throw it back downstairs! <laughs> it's today. What else? They boiled this goldfish. Yeah. And uh, I know, it was like, by the sound of it though, I also heard they, they hung his hamsters, they drop kicked his kitten, they attacked his dog, I was like, is he Dr. Doodle or something with all these animals? Jesus! Um, I think he drop kicked a kitten as well, that is just, that is planned. It wasn't like, right, what are we going to do? We're going to roundhouse kick this. Quick dig, right, troll up there, get ready. Yeah. Down the stairs as well, just troll some down the stairs. I was always afraid, like, outside when I was doing that impression. Stuck like that forever. Can you imagine? Oh my god. How's it going? Nobody would take you seriously. Well, that's just great. <laughs> You're really good at what you do. I'm not sure I believe you. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, uh, it's, it's it's really warm up here as well. You probably noticed it's probably like a sheen of sweat there. Hang on. Oh god, my notes! No, it's okay. It's okay. It reminds me again. Yeah, it's one time where I had to go into the night here at the end as well. Because they wanted me to like maybe do some sketches on the radio for them for their shows. And I went in and it was a nice walk down, a uh, long walk down, and then got into reception. Um, sat down on the couch, met the receptionist, who was just also a part-time model as well, literally first time I met her, and she was like, did you get caught in the rain? I was like, 
Sure. Uh, here, how's the dishes? Like, oh, thanks. She looked back at me like five minutes later, she goes, no, Miss the Miller, she was sweating like it's <laughs> leaking in here or something. <laughs> and, um, and then I actually went in and I met a couple of them. I met one of the DJs and the producer, and I was still roasting them. I was sitting opposite them on my couch, just like, oh my god. Just like wiping my face with my sleeve, and then it was so, it was actually, it looked like tears as well. So then people thought I was sweating and weeping at the same time. Because the branches are good, but it's crazy. So, uh, yeah, so they never called back. <laughs> but, um, uh, and also, it's, it's, it's my 21st next week, and we've been music And uh, we've been looking at pubs to go to and sorts. And I was asking my mom about it, and she was like, where do you, you know, we're just naming swords and pubs and swords. And she was like, eh, well, there's the Lord Mayor's. And I was like, mm, okay. And she was like, there's the Slaughter Lamb. I was like, oh, okay, there's the Pound Inn. Then she goes, oh, I bet the Cock Tavern, John. You love the Cock. I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, uh, Cautionary Tale as well. I used to go to college around the corner from here. And uh, just think about it when you're making passwords in future because you might have to tell someone that password. Uh, as I found out, um, I was doing a college assignment and we had to make these surveys, okay, and uh, I didn't realise we had to give the lecturer a password so he could check himself. <laughs> Jeez. He was in a full lecture, front row, told, called, totally unaware, he was like, so, uh, so John, what's your password? And he was like, oh, it's a password, one, two, three. I said, okay. Uh, Joe, what's your password? He was like, marketing, DIT. Like, All right. Sean, what's your password? All right, Mott, 69. <laughs> Oh my god. So, uh, 